Scientists from NASA conducted a successful experiment extracting oxygen from the thin air of Mars. The experiment and its machine were dubbed MOXIE, and they made use of a Mars rover known as Perseverance. This groundbreaking experiment was carried out in real conditions on the planet Mars, not in an artificially created environment. The extracted oxygen will be useful for fuel combustion in engines and for astronauts to breathe. Initially, it was thought oxygen would have to be transported from Earth. Thanks to the MOXIE station, the mission doesn't rely on external supplies. The MOXIE instrument itself has a size and shape similar to a household microwave. It weighs 27.69 pounds and consumes 300 watts per hour. It was developed by scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The station extracts oxygen from Martian air, which consists of 96% carbon dioxide. It uses solid oxide electrolysis technology. About 0.35 ounces of oxygen are extracted per hour with a purity of 98%. Throughout the tests, 122 grams were produced. This happened at an air temperature of 0 degrees. Now scientists will create a station based on it that can generate up to 2 kilograms of oxygen per hour, enough to sustain astronauts' lives. Developers Martin Lukash and Edwin Boss have created an innovative robot capable of collecting cigarette butts on the beach. The robot identifies butts using artificial intelligence and two cameras. In its first test, it picked up 20 butts in 30 minutes. The robotic station is built on a frame with four smooth inflatable wheels, and its platform is only 80 centimeters wide. When moving on the beach, it leaves almost no tracks. The cameras are mounted at the front and underneath. To teach the robot to distinguish butts from other items, millions of photos were loaded onto it. Users interacted through a separate Microsoft app. The artificial intelligence can learn to improve its accuracy and not miss anything in the future. When the robot detects a cigarette butt on the beach, it approaches it and grasps it with small closing brackets. Thanks to slots in the paws, and sand sifts through while the remaining part of the cigarette moves into an internal container that would later be emptied by a person. A Serbian scientist has created a liquid tree that absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. This groundbreaking invention is placed in a small rectangular aquarium and comes with a bench. It can be installed anywhere in the city and offers two benefits cleaning the air and offering resting spots. This liquid tree is called Liquid 3. The technology involves introducing special algae into the liquid, the exact composition of which is not disclosed. Algae live thanks to water, sunlight and carbon dioxide. The more they receive these components, the more oxygen they produce and the greener they become. One bench with a liquid tree aquarium matches the oxygen production of a 12-year-old real tree. Now, there's no need to wait 12 years for a tree to grow. Installing Liquid 3 takes just one day, and it starts producing oxygen. This addresses the issue of overcrowded cities, where space is taken up by shops, sidewalks, office buildings, leaving no room for tree planting. American company Lumos Solar has released a new type of solar panel designed to harness natural energy, which stands out significantly from others in terms of design, light transparency, waterproofing and performance. The modular system is available in two series, LSX and GSX. Lumos Solar Panels LSX, are frameless and allow plenty of light through. Because of this, they don't give an industrial look to the design of a house or cottage. They almost blend in like regular glass. The GSX panels come with built-in waterproofing, so they can replace a roof. They are easily integrated, functioning as car parking shelters, covers for open terraces, bus stops, gazebos, and even greenhouses. They use a two-sided technology, capturing solar energy not only from the top, but also from the bottom. As a result, this increases efficiency by 10 to 30 percent. These panels are guaranteed to capture and transmit solar energy over a period of 30 years. The latest invention, Tau2, is the world's smallest power bank. Resembling a keychain, it measures 2.2 by 1.69 by 0.75 inches and weighs only 0.11 pounds. 
Despite its tiny size, the battery capacity is 2000 mAh, enough to partially charge a smartphone or headphones, music player, tablet, and other devices. There's a hole for a key ring, allowing it to be attached to keys or a belt. The housing already has three integrated ports, micro USB, lightning, and USB Type-C, making it compatible with all gadgets. The ports have plastic covers to prevent dust buildup. The keychain charges via USB Type-C from a laptop or other devices. The manufacturers also offer a home station with wireless charging. This novelty is priced at €32 Euros and is available in white and black. Israeli scientists have introduced the world's first hybrid electric scooter and ATV. The off-road version stands out with its large wheels, designed for rough terrain and a powerful engine. It's meant for extreme tourism, agriculture and military use. The electric scooter has independent electric motors, each producing 4.5 kilowatts of power for every wheel. When combined, the power of the four-wheeled vehicle is 18 kilowatts or 24 horsepower if it were a gasoline engine version. Each wheel is suspended uniquely and can move independently from the others. Impressive suspension travel of 19.6 inches with a ground clearance of 9.6 inches allows confident rides on rocky surfaces and any kind of rough terrain. The maximum speed is capped at 28 miles per hour. The 3 kWh 60V battery range covers 45 miles. The Easy Rider platform can support a rider weighing up to 441 pounds. If the rider is lighter, it can tow a trailer with cargo. When needed, the electric scooter folds into compact dimensions of 67 by 29 by 30 inches, easily fitting into the trunk of a car. Italy-based company Diacqua showcased the invisible solar panels which externally resemble roof tiles. This allows for the reconstruction of museums and other cultural buildings, preserving their appearance while harnessing solar energy. Inside the tiles are typical monocrystalline silicon elements. Ceramic is applied on top of the curved surface. The ceramic layer allows light to pass through, enabling the photovoltaic panel to absorb solar energy. The surface is self-cleaning. It easily washes away dust naturally. The invisible solar panels intentionally differ from one another, giving the tiles a more organic appearance. One of the first sites where invisible solar panels were installed is the ancient city of Pompeii, destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The innovative tiles covered the House of Serrera, the House of the Veti, and a Roman snack bar. This innovation significantly reduces electricity bills, which are astronomical due to the city's large size. Recently, the world was introduced to a new off-road skateboard called Exodeck Skateboard. Instead of wheels, it has tank tracks allowing for smooth movement through mud, sand, snow, and even shallow streams. The skateboard features a tubular frame that riders can hold onto while making cool turns and tricks. It moves using electric motors powered by a rechargeable battery. Control is via a handheld remote resembling a one-handed joystick, which is easy to grip while balancing on the platform. With the ability to reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, the Exodex skateboard can tackle steep inclines of up to 20 degrees. The tank tracks are equipped with studs and treads, ensuring good grip on any surface. Manufacturers promise several features to make learning to ride easier for beginners. According to the report for the National Bicycle Dealers Association, electric bike sales in the US exceeded $1.3 billion in 2022, a 33% increase from the previous year. If you're still undecided about getting an e-bike, there's a gadget that can turn your regular bike into an electric one. Scarpa weighs 3.9 kilograms, attaches to the rear fork of your bike by hanging, and connects to the rear hub. It houses a 250-watt motor with 32 newton meters of torque, a rotor, and a 240-watt-hour battery. A full battery charge takes 2.5 hours. During a continuous five-day test on a rig, Scarpa covered 1,000 kilometers at a speed of 18 miles an hour, simulating riding on tough cobblestone. With Scarpa's drive, your converted e-bike can cover up to 31 miles in the city. The drive is easy to install and remove. You can do it yourself without any assistance. 
the solar-powered car Inoptus has become the most enduring in the world after winning the prestigious Bridgestone World Solar Challenge the BWSC in Australia. It spent 34 hours, 4 minutes and 41 seconds on the track, surpassing all other participants and running solely on solar power. The innovation displayed excellent absorption of solar energy in Australia's harsh conditions with its cloud and smoke from wildfires. In addition, the Anoptus became the fastest on such a distance, breaking its own record set before the COVID-19 pandemic. The Anoptus measures 16 feet in length and 7.2 feet in width. Its solar panel area covers 3.1 square feet, the maximum limit allowed for race participation. To stabilize the body, a unique fin called the Infinite was applied. This provided increased stability for the three-wheeled vehicle, giving it an edge over others and allowing it to gain one minute on each lap. In China's Guangzhou province, an idea to renovate old and abandoned houses using 3D printed wall panels is being put into action. These panels, printed with a printer, were integrated into a residential home, connecting them with wooden walls and a tiled roof. This strengthened the structure, expanding its functionality. This new technology for repairing walls printed by a 3D printer will help reconstruct homes, improve them, prevent the decline of villages and reduce the number of semi-destroyed or abandoned houses. The 3D printer was used to print the house's side walls, steps, kitchen and bathroom, creating spaces that didn't exist before. The 3D printed wall panels blend with the wooden structures, maintaining the visual integrity of the design. It's possible to print arch structures that expand the space, not just straight blocks. Robotic printing is done on site, reducing the need for transporting materials, thus cutting costs. Blunt Action Studio put together an animated story about NASA that was displayed on a 30-foot NASA 3D billboard at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This massive monitor showcases 3D images with high clarity thanks to its 6.1 million pixels. The six-minute video illustrates the mission, technologies used both inside and outside spacecraft, and important milestones of NASA. It includes pop-up windows with real chronicles. The video is incredibly captivating, immersive and runs smoothly, marking a significant technological breakthrough for advertising billboards and screens. At the Japan Mobility Show, Nissan unveiled the prototype for a luxury electric car, the Infinity Vision QE, the first of its kind in the brand's history and quite different from the well-known family electric car, the Leaf. The Infinity Vision QE stands out with three robust ridges on the hood, a massive air intake grille with a spoiler and contour lighting and a sloping roof. The appearance is integrated into the side logos and on the trunk, creating a bold and sporty appearance. The concept is based on a super sporty sedan fastback, and plans are underway to release the Vision QXE electric crossover. Alongside the prototype, a brand new logo was unveiled, featuring slanting lines that now don't converge at a point. This design symbolizes an infinite road stretching towards the horizon. However, for now, this dynamic concept is stirring excitement, leaving the anticipation for mass production. The High Wonder brand has launched the Jet Hexa, a six-legged robot with its own vision and brain, powered by the ROS operating system. The robot comes with artificial intelligence, a mono camera, a 3D camera, and a LiDAR. Using these features, Jet Hexa can recognize human faces, track objects, identify colors, detect and navigate around obstacles, and interpret gestures made by hand or the entire body. It's also capable of accurately measuring distances to objects using laser beams and creating maps. In its design, Jet Hexa resembles a spider but with six legs. It can move freely on inclined surfaces, crawl under horizontal obstacles, and follow a route based on set coordinates or drawn lines. When necessary, it maintains the camera's horizontal position regardless of the leg's orientation in space, streaming the image to a computer or phone. 
A startup called EZI has revolutionized the way liquid crystal pixel monitors are illuminated, thanks to the invention by 17-year-old inventor Louis Huang. He introduced a technology that replicates natural light. Behind the display, there's a light-reflecting panel that transmits natural light from a window onto the screen matrix. This panel can be tilted at an angle from 0 to 60 degrees, precisely adjusting the light transmission based on its source. EZI's technology reduces eye strain for computer users and cuts energy consumption by 90%. Using a built-in app, users can further adjust brightness and color temperature, making it comfortable for their eyes. By default, it's set at 4000K. Additionally, the monitor's lighting adjusts automatically depending on the ambient light, brightening during the day and dimming in the evening. As daylight fades, monitors with EZI technology switch to artificial room lighting, like a regular ceiling lamp. When the room lights are off, the display dims. In case there's a need for the monitor in a dark room, EZI's developer included an additional LED backlight consuming 5 watts.